Well, hello, old man cavers. Excuse the shades, but it's sunny today. We need the SGs. Today, we're going to be putting a diesel heater in this. Yes, it needs a wash. Hasn't been used for a couple of years. In fact, I've never spent a single night in this thing. Although I've had it three, four years now, something like that. Anywho, let's roll the credits and see if we can get a diesel heater scooshed in there somewhere. Ha <laughs> ha! Welcome to the man cave. Let the games begin. So, here we are in the little caravan. There she is. I think we're going to go try and put this heater under this seat. So let me get this table down and these cushions off. And we'll have a hook the old peepers under there and see if we can get this off. Back in a mo. So, here's our seat cushions off. Now let's have a look. Now have we got room for this heater underneath here? Do you know, I think there might just be. I think the best thing we can do is get the little heater out, out of its box, offer it in there, and just see what it looks like. Yeah. I'm thinking probably... Probably along here. Is this damp? No, it's dry. Must just be a... The only thing with caravans, they do get mould if they sit for any length of time. But I'm thinking a vent there. Uh, maybe another vent. I don't know whether there's room for one to come out of that corner. I doubt it. Let's have an eye up. Let me get the heater unboxed and then we'll offer it in and see what it's sit like. I think that'll sit in here nicely these are our battery connections so yes let's see if we can offer him in here all right let's get her undone all right we are here so let's get this thing undone again i know i'm off camera a bit here but we will see here's our diesel tank you'll remember that from the other night now we want the heater itself that's my little remote control. Here is the heater itself in daylight. There we go. So I think... You know, I can't believe the weight of this little thing. So this is our outlet, definitely. Past the heat sink. Here's our fan, which draws the cool air in for the fan. And your cool air for your heating gets drawn in this one. And that's your exhaust. Or is that the other way about? I don't know. I'll have to look at the destructions. But there you go. We'll see if he will offer in the caravan. Let's have a look. All right. We are back in the caravan. Now then. Will this heater fit in here nicely? It does. Look at that. That will sit there. We won't have restricted air at the back because we've got a good good few inches there just for the fan to draw air in. So yeah, I think that heater needs to sit here. What do you guys think? Don't that look good? Get all that down. You won't see it. We'll just have a vent out here. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good idea. Or do we heave over a little so the so we can come straight out. That's probably not a bad idea. We have a T-piece. Are we going to use the T-piece? I wonder. I wonder if there's room for a vent to come out here somewhere. So it blows out into the caravan. Have we got room? Let me go get a vent. Let's take a walk outside. And go and get one of them vents out of the box. There's our controller. Here's a T-piece. Here are our vents. Here they be. And the 
angled as well. Maybe a good thing, maybe not. But let's have an eye up and see if... It'll go in. We might do away with that, that little 12 volt power point there. We're not going to ever be using that damn thing anyhow. Who uses 12 volt power points? I'm thinking put one in there. As close to this edge as we can get it. And I think. I do truly think that. By the time that's recessed in there. There would be room for it. Hmm. You don't want to drill a hole in there and then can't get it in. I'm sure once you got it past the recess, there'd be plenty of room. Or, we just have one in there like that. We can have one there. And another one here somewhere. See what I mean? But. There you go, putting the vents in is one of the last jobs. Getting the heater in is going to be one of the first. Let's make sure our TP fits. Somehow on... Oh, right, I see that T-piece goes on that flexi hose. I reckon that flexi... Ah, that flexi pipe obviously goes over that. And then over this. So you can put this where you want it, not direct on the heater. Right, I see. Um, either way, I think we're going to have room. The only other option is have the heater sit this way about. What do you reckon? That way? Or oh, that way? I think that looks better this way, if I'm honest. Can I get my drill in there to drill the holes? So I don't want to have to take this seat box all to pieces to allow me more room. So that, that looks like it's only Phillips screws and this bar comes out there. Oh, there's a lot more to it than that, Mr. Fenn. That isn't that simple just to get that bar out. Oh, hang on. Well, this just lifts off, look. Okay. Let me have a saw out and we'll be back. So, yes, we've got plenty of room in here now. Look, we can see. And if we do want to take that bar out, it's just... Two screws there and another two there and that will lift out. So yes, I think we're going to put the heater here. Probably back to the wall a little bit like so. We want enough room to get a little bit of fresh air in there. Don't get hot in here because the heat's going to be blowing out of here and through the vent. Now I don't have to use two vents. I could just have one vent. Just have one come here. Do you see what I mean? Straight out of the heater. Do I even need to use that T-piece and have two vents? Because I'm really reluctant to drill a hole here to find that it won't go in. I think it will, but I can't be sure. Now, opening the fridge is not making any difference whatsoever. If that fridge door would come off, we would soon see, but I don't know how that fridge door actually holds on. I don't want to break anything. No, I don't want to break anything. Anyhow, let me get you set up on a tripod, get some tools, and we'll see about drilling some damned holes in the bottom of this floor. We also need to weigh up where our chassis is underneath. So when we drill through the floor, we're not going into the chassis. That is a very, very good plan. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think we need to just see where this chassis is. So let me get this thing marked out. Then I'll be back. Back in a minute. So we're back. Our chassis is one foot from the inside wall. Try and do this one-handed. There's our inside wall. Here's one foot. Hang on. Let me get you guys right. All right, there's one foot. Now, I'm allowing an extra inch because I don't want to balls this up. So I'm going to say the chassis is only 11 inches away, just so I play safe. 
So I'm going to get a bit of chalk and measure 11 inches. There we go. So that's where our chassis runs. So we can't come any further this way. Because the chassis runs here. To about here. So we can't use this space. Because that's where our chassis is. You can hear that actually. Anyhow. Is that going to leave us enough room? Where are our intake pipes and outtake pipes? Oh, they're right up there, look. So, yes, we have got... Oh, yes, a good two inches. And that still leaves us air gap at the back. No problem. So, I think... I think we need to drill our holes... Without doing a lot of measuring, let's do this the old-fashioned way. Let's just guide it in. So if we do a centre hole here, and I think this hole needs to be here to here for this hole, because we've got to allow for this combustion pipe. So I reckon if we do a hole there to there, and then another hole, we could do one big one, but I don't know whether I've got a hole saw that big. And the centre of our other pipe is there. So, right, I think we've got this. I know you guys are like, however, he measured that out. That's crude. Crude it may be, but I know what it means. I know I've got to have a hole here. And the centre of our other hole is here. So I think we need two holes there and there. Let's offer it back up and see if I've measured that right. We have, look. There we go. So if I just do two holes there and there, I think that'll sit down. We've got our low enough room because you've got to remember, we've got to put pipes with Jubilee clips on there. And I think the pipes with Jubilee clips... Have to go on first. Hang about. We've got that metal plate, haven't we? I forgot about that metal plate. That will actually act us as a guide. Where is that metal plate? Here he be, look. I forgot this little galvanised plate, which is our template, basically. Ugh. And I'm not far out with my holes, look. They're both falling dead over there. Yeah. Now both coming dead over that. I was pretty accurate where I had my holes. Excellent stuff. So, um, yeah. Hang on. What's going on? Oh no, that's all right. That's all. I was looking. At this how this pipe here is this one here, isn't it? So I think that's this way. Because this little red pipe need to go through here. Let's get that little donkey off. Right, that sits on there like so, look. So that's got to come this way to flip the heater over. There we go. Yeah. Yep, so I reckon if we gnaw some holes in there, if we go bigger, it don't matter. I'm going to do one big hole that includes this one. You see what I mean? So we'll do a bigger hole and then we can just do one this size but I think we've got to put Jubilee clips on here before we start drilling let's look at my posh new hole saws that I bought from screw fix just for this job wow look at them bad boys because I didn't have a hole saw ah, 44 millimeter is that the right size no I reckon we can go one bigger with that you know I reckon we can go 51 mil and I think that will incorporate 
No. There we go, we want that big one. We want that 64 mil hole. That'll allow room for Jubilee clips and everything. A hole that size. And another hole. Oh, hang on. These are our mountain holes, which have also got to be used. Because that's where, our, that's where our bracket bolts to, isn't it? Our bracket bolts on here. So we've got to allow them to go through the floor as well. So yeah, we've got to include all of these holes. So I reckon two of these holes. One, two. That's the biggest. This is the biggest hole bit I've got. Only goes up to 64 mil. So I reckon one hole, two holes, and they will all include in there, and they will all be uncovered. All covered up, sorry, by... Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon we can come there with it. And we're going to miss our chassis. There we go. So, let me get this lot set up. What I might do, actually, um, I'm wondering if I should test fit the pipes on there to see what it all looks like before I start drilling. Yeah, let's do that. Let's have a look. Let's go back outside and test fit these pipes. So, we're back outside. Let's have a look at what we've got. That got to come on here. We have our exhaust pipe. Exhaust is this side. So that exhaust fits on there. So this all has to go through this long piece, what I'm holding down here now. That all has to go through the bottom of the caravan. And our air intake pipe, which I've got the air filter on. Pull that air filter off. That has to go on there. Right. So that's what we've got to feed through the two holes. There we go. We've got to feed all this. Yep. Yep. Um, can we be bolting this down, do you reckon? What do you reckon? I reckon hawk this little gasket off. So I think this little gasket is meant to go. You reckon that gasket is meant to go that side? That's going to get damn hot. Oh yeah, that's definitely the air intake. Right, okay. Just trying to weigh up which side this gasket goes on. Whether it goes on this side. That looks quite right in there actually. Of course this gasket is recessed look. It's not solid, it's like got a lip on it. So I'm thinking that does go over this outside lip. Yes, it does. Yeah, that fits on there good. Yeah, that fits on there well. So I think that goes there and this goes direct to the floor. Excellent stuff. Have we got any bolts to go on that? What's in our little bag? We haven't emptied our little bag out yet. We have a load of Jubilee clips. There's a posh Jubilee clip there. There are some bolts in here. Uh, 
and I assume there's no washers, so I assume these are the bolts to go on here. They are the bolts to go on there as we drop one down the hole. Don't joke about like that, Ben. There we go. So we've got our bolts in here. There's no, no rhyme or reason which way that exhaust should or shouldn't go. Right, let's get him on. So he's on. They will be to hold the exhaust, I should imagine. That will be to hold the intake pipe, look. Yep, I think this one's for the intake pipe. Oh, we got two. I'm guessing. This may well be for the exhaust, you know. I reckon this heavy one here is for the exhaust. Because that's the one that's going to take a lot of heat, isn't it? Yeah. So I think I need to get a socket now. And tighten all these down. Yep, I think we're on to something. Alright. Here's our sockets. Let's get our 10 mil socket. I have bought an open-ended spanner in case we can't get it on that other side. And let's button this down a bit. Oh, we're going to have to use an open-ended spanner because we've run out of reach on the socket. And a socket won't go on There we go, we can pull the socket off the bar and just put the bar in a bit. There we go, that's got them on. Let's nip them down. They don't probably break loose. There we go, that nip down. Exhaust on there, all the way down. Let's hang on, let's move him round a bit so we don't need such a big hole. There we go. There we go. That's got that one on there. And our intake pipe can come on here. We'll have that on the inside. And that should nip up nicely. Let's do that with another little socket. What size sockets are these? None of these sockets fit. So we're going to have to use a Phillips screwdriver. 
So here we go. Let's get our Phillips screwdriver. There we go. And let's button this one down. that one down and we're also got to put this what I think is fuel pipe on there that don't fit on there do it so I reckon that's this one there we go there's our fuel pipe Come on. We probably want a little bit of hair around that to get that off. What is that fuel line? Oh, I see that fuel line here. Obviously goes inside this pipe, look. And this, yeah, there you go. That, so that fuel line goes inside that. Yes, I'm with you. Right, okay. So we probably need to cut this in half so we can connect the other end onto this thing that I said I couldn't work out what it was. This we've got to mount into the fuel tank, that's the pickup pipe. So this goes in your tank and you have to, this just goes in the bottom. We have to somehow screw this wherever we want it on our fuel tank. Somewhere here, wherever, as a pickup. So yes, I think we need to gnaw this piece in two, and that'll be a connecting pipe. Excellent stuff. So let's get him on here for now. Come on. Ah, we're going on. We're going on, look. There we go. And I reckon these are the little clips to hold this fuel pipe on. They are indeed. There we go. Let's get a pair of pliers on this. Open that up. Does that go over? Oh yeah, that goes over and there we go. So all our pipe work and bracket are now on the bottom. So all this lot, all this pipe work has got to feed through the bottom of the caravan. There we go. All this pipe work here has to feed through the bottom of the caravan and obviously this pipe does bend and that so we can manipulate these where we want them. So we need to gnaw our holes and get that through the bottom of the caravan. I would say easy peasy Japanesey but who knows? This might go disastrously wrong. But I don't think it's going to. I think we're going to be absolutely fine. Excellent stuff. I am going to plug this pipe with a screw so no crap goes in it because that's our fuel pickup. The last thing we want is to feed that through and we get a bit of crap in that fuel pipe so we'll plug him off. Right, let's get back in the caravan and see what we're doing. Alright, the moment of truth. Here is our drill bit in our drill so here goes nothing let's get a hole drilled i think we're somewhere where we need to be there we 
you go, that's one in. Excellent stuff. Now where's our other hole got to be? That was here, somewhere. There we go. Why is this one being so much harder to drill? Oh, I know why. We're plugged up with this bit. Look, we've got to, get, we've got to fish this out. We're not going to drill out with it down there, are we? So we need to get our plug out. Well, this is the job on. Well, I jammed that in that drill piece, barely. We've got to unplug this auger somehow. There we go. There we go. There's the plug we took out. That's how thick the caravan floor is. Look at that. So let's get our piece back in. Of course, hey, why weren't that drilling? That was concerning me for a second. All right, we're back in the holes. That's locked in. Back in the drill. There we go. We should be off again now. We have our two holes drilled. Let's just get this other plug out. There we go. That's the other plug out of the drill. Well, them hole saws are actually, considering that it was a 20 quid special from Screwfix, for this little job that I've done absolutely fine. All right. All right, here we go. Let's brush this out of the way, and at the end I will get a hoover in here. I just want to clean up where that heat is going through. Now, have I got this right, and will our heater go through there? Air intake at the back. I'm going to bend this exhaust around here somehow so that'll go underneath the caravan if not that's going to hit on the damn grass right. I think we need to put another bend in here look and just get this exhaust so that don't go into the grass underneath get our pipes through and hopefully If I've measured everything right, I think that exhaust is catching underneath. Let me go and make sure that exhaust, I think that exhaust is catching on the chassis. Let me go straighten that out. Yes, that exhaust had curled up and hooked under the chassis. So now we've got plenty of play in our heater. Oh, that's perfect. No gaps. Absolutely perfect. Right, that is our heater basically in place. Ah, let's get you out so you can have a look. There we go. So you can see there are our holes. We cover them nicely. And we've got a little bit of leeway there. So if we go somewhere in the middle so the insulation don't get so hot. There we go. It's really a case of drawing some Phillips screws in there now and the heater is actually in place yes indeedy there is our diesel heater yes 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 
do you know I haven't got a big enough hole saw for these vents I bought my set holes not big enough so I'm gonna have to measure across there and buy a separate hole saw this size for these vents damn why didn't I think of that when I bought the set right there we go but for today's run and purpose hopefully we'll get this thing fired up today or maybe not right we got a bit more done with the heater um i have scrapped this fuel tank because there's nowhere realistically to put it because i didn't really want to inside the caravan so i don't want to if it does leak i don't want diesel stink inside there this is a tiny van if we were spitting this to like my big caravan the crusader tons of room you could have got that bottle in but it's going in this little box i've concocted look at that i found a strong plastic box lying around the yard i'll put that sender unit in there we ain't got no diesel in there yet we're going to do that in a minute got the sender in we have it piped let me come underneath oh, yeah, 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 yeah. i didn't video all this because that's pretty impossible to video there we go up here we have our fuel pump yep there's our fuel pump going up to there's our exhaust there's our air intake and air filter which is here screwed to the floor there's our diesel in pipe and here's our exhaust i haven't put that silly exhaust silencer on there but there we go this will do for a test run so that's what we got ah and inside excuse my mint camera skills as i roly-poly across the floor inside right very simple we have a plug here which i've got to dangle through another hole i've drilled that's got a plug onto that diesel pump i'll put my controller up here and we have this wire here got to come into there this one here got to plug into this big one here and then i'll open an earth to the battery and that will be our heater up and running we hope <laughs> anyhow um i'm going to get this thing plugged in we need to get some diesel and see if we can actually bleed it up because that little old pump might struggle to suck uphill let me explain the diesel pump is right down here now the fuel tank is right up here so i'm going to pull the i'm going to put diesel in here now and pull the pipe off the fuel pump and manually suck it up with my mouth <laughs> being careful not to actually get a mouthful this time i can work it right so it goes straight on the pump so let me get set up and we will get this you know sorted out so what do you reckon to my little tank I found? There. And that sender unit has gone straight in there. So let's chuck some diesel in. I'm only just going to put enough in there to... Um, I'm only going to put enough in there to like test run. But I have left that fuel sender about an inch off the bottom so I don't pick up all the shit out the bottom of the tank. There we go. I think that should be enough so we can have a test run. What do you reckon? You reckon we got enough diesel in there? Jeez, I always think so. All right, let me see if I can get this siphoned up. This is going to be a fun job. So, under I come. And I pull our pipe off the diesel pump. Here it is. Let's see if I can draw some of that up.
Yeah, Mom. She's dripping. Come on. Come on. Mm. So it's dripping. I think that might be enough just to assist this pump with drawing its fuel up. There you go, we got him back on now. Let's get the electrical connection on. That's on. I don't know whether you heard that. That clicked into place nicely. Oh. And it's a case of now we've got the fuel pump plugged in. We need to just get these bits plugged in. So let's get these bits plugged in here. So this one got to come on to here, I think. There we go. That's got our controller plugged in. Our fuel pump is plugged in. This one got a plug into here. This is the main one. And I think all that leaves, we've got to tidy our wiring up, but mainly all that leaves now is connecting this to a battery. And we should find, I think there is a slight bleeding procedure to this to make sure you get it right. That could take a little while to actually pump the fuel up and actually ignite it. Right, I need to get some clips on this battery terminals. Yep, yeah, I need to get some crocodile clips on that, and then we'll be back on them battery terminals down there. Let me get some crocodile clips. So I found a couple of old crocodile clips. Let us join these wires on. So we want the earth onto here. This is temporary, guys. I will solder this and heat shrink it, but for now we just want to be able to test this thing. So we've got our earth on. Our live. I'm going to strip a bit more of this up. Connect this to our other clip. Like I said, this is only temporary until I get a until I get it soldered on. Right, we are on. But there's nothing lighting up on the wall. I've got everything plugged in, I've got the pump plugged in underneath. So this is the bit we're all waiting for. We're all connected up. So let's see. Let me get a little remote control thing and see if that actually turns on with that. Hang on. Ah, it's just, I don't know what's happened. It's just powered up. There's the little remote control. Right, I think that's gone off. Right, we really ought to press instructions, don't we? Right, here we go. Let's see if anything happens. Can't remember, I haven't really read any of this. So far, absolutely nothing's going on.
Right, that's all. That's definitely just click down there. You have to hold that on. Now what's going on? I seem to have pressed the button and that seem to have gone off. Right, maybe I should read the instructions. Let me get them. Right, I should have read operations and controls. After the installation, heater shall be turned on repeatedly a few times to make sure everything's full, basically. Well, we ain't done none of that. Why ain't it coming back on? I reckon I shouldn't have pressed nothing. So we'll disconnect the battery for a bit, just to get any residual juice out of there. Now we'll put it back on. And let's see what happens. Right, that's now come on again, look. After in, the heater shall be turned on repeatedly a few times to make the fuel tube full. The fuel pipe, yes, voltage should be better, yes, yes, yes. During the running of the heater, test to check operation. Right, okay. Right, now it's just going on to tell us what this all means. So far, I can hear very little happening. I thought I would have heard a fuel pump clicking by now. Ah! Right, I don't know. I don't know. All right, is there a menu button anywhere? get this controller out of here and see if we can weigh up exactly what's going on with it so I can't weigh it up none of the buttons appear to be doing anything ah you have to hold that on. Ah. Ah, you have to hold that on or actually activate. I don't tell you none of that in the instructions, you know. You have to work all this out. Yeah, you have to work all this out for yourself. It tells you nothing in the instructions. So I can hear now, the heater has actually got the fan going very slowly. Ah, there goes the fuel pump. Can you hear that fuel pump? Clicking under the floor. Let me clip this back in. If 
Can you hear that fuel pump clicking underneath? Hear that? This thing is actually starting to build up, build up speed like an aeroplane. It is definitely starting to build up speed. It's getting faster. Obviously it's blowing stone cold air at the minute. Yeah, it's blowing stone cold air at the minute. The fuel pump's getting faster. This thing is starting to make more noise. Ah, it's blowing warm air. It's a light. It's away. Oh, that is hot. And that's only just started. Wow. It fired up first time. No airlocks. No issues. And that is hot. Believe me, that is hot. Whoa, that is going to heat this caravan massively. Ooh, fuck I can't even hold my hand there. Ooh, yeah, she's hot. She is blowing hot air. So that seems like our little diesel... Ooh, crikey, that is warm. Our little diesel heater is doing its job very well, it seems. Look at the temperature in the caravan going up. Woo. Oh yeah, that is getting hot. I wish there was something in the instructions what told you. So H1 that's obviously your heat output. Let's go up to number six. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's warm. Oh, yeah, six is way too hot. Perfect. We'll go back down to number one, I think. Which is still hot. Well, there you go. Our diesel heater is working brilliantly. It fired up first time. I know, I know. I've got to tidy up this installation. I shall get the Henry in here and hoover all this out and mount the battery properly. This was purely just a test. But it's definitely, oh crikey, it's definitely blowing very, very warm air. So before I actually scorch my bit of wood here, we're going to shut this thing down. Off. Right. Now I have heard online that these take a little time to shut themselves down. There you go. She shut herself down a bit. That's still blowing very, very warm air. Right, I just heard the igniter switch off, so I assume that's the flame off. So I assume now it's just dispelling hot air from off the heat exchanger. 
the body of this thing has actually stayed remarkably cool when you consider the amount of hot air just coming out of here. Oh yeah, that's starting to blow cooler now, so obviously that heat exchanger in there is starting to cool down. Anyhow, well, you guys have now seen the Chinese diesel heater. It took about five minutes to sort itself out and actually self-prime. But it did say on here, once the thing is installed, it would start and stop a few times. Well, that's done that on its own. All it's done is it's basically sat in like a standby mode and it was obviously preparing itself to prime. I was too impatient. There you go. The fan, it's still off. But the fan is now, yeah, it's now blowing just warm air now. It's just blowing the heat out of the heat exchanger. So it's all good. We mustn't unplug it because I have heard horror stories that don't unplug it until it's actually done. Apparently they need to sort of stay as they are and shut themselves down. So we're going to leave this to shut itself down. Ooh, look, snowdrop. Yeah. Well, there we go. I can hear the fuel pump underneath there. Yeah, I can hear the fuel pump. I'm sure that's going to be shutting itself down in a minute. But it's working. All good. Anyhow, I'm going to go get this video edited. So I can upload it tonight for you guys. We have leftover parts. I didn't like this fuel filter. It looked a bit tilly-willy, so I put an automotive one in what I use for lawnmowers and left out this thing here that looked like that's going to leak, if I'm honest. That's, yeah. These are for obviously for when I put these big heater pipes on, which I haven't put on yet, but there you go. We're getting to it. But there, the diesel heater, you've seen it. You've seen it installed. I say, after I cut the video, I was going to make a second video, but I'm just going to put this bit on the end. So yes, thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe. And if you want to see this caravan, it will be getting a good clean and a wash because me and Mrs. Man Cave are going to a music festival in it in, oh, about six weeks or something like that. So you'll see this thing get cleaned and get washed and basically get ready to go back on the road where it hasn't been for a number of years. Because I say, we are selling the big caravan through there and we're going to use this one. And there we go. Excellent stuff. Yep, everything's now buttoning down, so I think we're all good. Right, I'm going to go. See you guys next time. Bye-bye for now. Ha-ha! <laughs> what am I doing? I'm looking at myself. Who want to be looking this way? While I go, ha-ha! There we go.